Hey guys, this is Diana and in today's tutorial we are going to learn how to create this Polaroid effect on our photos in Canva. And the trick that I'm going to teach you today is not only to position your photo on top of a white uh, rectangle, because I think this is kind of plain and I would like to have the real Polaroid effect on your photos. So yeah, let's uh, start now. And for today's tutorial, I was thinking that we can use an Instagram story dog type. So let's uh, open one like this. And in today's tutorial, I would like to show you also where you can fetch these uh, images to create the Polaroid effect. So the first place where you can fetch ideas or these Polaroid images is in the templates tab. So let's type Polaroid here and we will have all these different templates. So I'm going to show you the first example because this is the kind of Polaroid I don't want to teach today. <laughs> As you can see, it is only a white rectangle and a photo on top of it, which I don't know, in my head, I think it's um, a kind of plain. <laughs> so uh, what I want to show you today is this kind of uh, effect. Uh, let me see here. For example, this one, if I zoom a tiny bit, we see a little uh, texture on the Polaroid. So this is something that gives um, a little touch, different touch, more creative touch to your designs. And also if you see in the templates, uh, we have some elements that we can use on our design. Like for example, in this um, template, we have this decorative tape, which is kind of cute. So I'm going to leave it here because I may use it in the in my tutorial, in my design. And I'm going to add a new page to see the other kind of um, templates we have here. So the other template that caught my attention is this one because it has this realistic tape that I really like and I may use it in the design too. And uh, yeah, you can go and check the other um, Polaroid effect or Polaroid templates that Canva give us here. I think there are a lot of different elements that we can use on our design. So let's go to the second tab, which is photos. And let's type Polaroid here. I'm going to click here. And we have so many different kind of Polaroid images here that we can use on our design, right? Let's uh, go here to the filter and I'm going to filter by free and also by pro because I have a Canva Pro account. So I'm going to go and check them out. I'm going to delete this image at the background and I'm going to show you here that if you see, this looks like a real, real Polaroid image. So yeah, this is the place where you can fetch these realistic images. And let's see the second one. It also looks very, very realistic. So I think I'm going to create the design already from here. I'm going to create a new page and I'm going to show you the last section where you can also fetch some Polaroid images or elements. And this is the third tab called elements. So let's go to Polaroid. I'm going to search Polaroid here and also I'm going to filter by free. And here you see there are a couple of uh, Polaroid images or elements. And in this case, they already have some, uh, how do you call that, grids or let me check here, grids or frames. So yeah. They have some grids and frames here and we can also use them here on our designs. And yeah, these elements, they have already some shadows, but in my personal taste, I prefer these realistic ones. So I'm going to show you how to add an image on top of this. So I already have some photos here in my uploads 
and the only thing I need to do is just to add the photo on top of it and just adjust a tiny bit so it goes um, it is aligned to the Polaroid and then I'm going to cut the image so it fits the Polaroid blank uh, space so I think that's okay and then I need a vertical or portrait image I think I'm going to add this one here and then just adjust the size like this now I'm going to adjust the size of my canvas so I can see the other elements that I can use from the other templates I think I'm going to use this one here I'm going to copy and then paste it here on directly on my design and I may use this one too just to use I don't know to use a different element <laughs> and to add a different feeling to my design actually let me see if uh, I can have a different size of tape you see this one is kind of long and they have in the second um, template I think a shorter one I'm going to ungroup and copy this one this is a different size uh, element I think yeah so this will add a different like more crafty feel to the design let's put it kind of like this and I'm going to add another one like this I think I'm just going to duplicate this one here and for the background I may use this dark one too so I'm just going to copy and paste on this page so it will look something like this we just adjust and finally I'm going to add a text because usually when you have a Polaroid uh, like the photo, the Polaroid photo, the physical one the idea is that you add something here to the bottom just to remember the place or the date or whatever you want to remember from this image or this uh, event so uh, what I'm going to do is to go to text and I'm going to add uh, a text box and in this case I think I'm going just to write the city which is um, Chiang Mai and uh, I think I will also I also would like to I think this font actually this one goes really well with the design because it's a kind of looks kind of like a handmade so let's go to the font menu and you can see here that we have uh, this easy um, way to find different fonts and I think I'm going to go straight for the handwritten and we have different options here so it looks more like a handmade or handwritten effect which it which goes really well with the Polaroid and this one also I think it can go really well permanent marker because usually you will write it with a sharpie so this can work too or you can also use the um, script keyword to find all this uh, script looking like uh, fonts so yeah you can just go and play with it and find the font that you like the best and also if you see these uh, fonts here that says premium these fonts are especially um, for Canva Pro users so if you have a free account just make sure not to select one of the uh, crowned ones I hope you like this tutorial and if you would like to keep receiving tutorials like this one make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and hit the bell button so you can receive a notification when I upload the next video and also if you are watching this tutorial from our Facebook group remember to leave your design in the comment section below so we can all share ideas and see the different elements that you found that I maybe didn't show in this tutorial and we can all learn together and yeah I hope to see you in the next tutorial bye bye